Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Until Dawn for the PS4. I'm Samurai TX, and when we last left off, we began the prologue of the game, which saw Beth and Hannah die, which is the sisters of Josh. So now we have come back to the um, Blackwood Pines one year later, and we are currently Sam as we continue to make our way there. So without further ado, let's continue playing, and let's see what we're going. So it's going to tell us the buttons, of course. We can use the right analog stick to rotate the camera. And um, look around. Yes, um, this is blind, by the way, in case you didn't notice from the previous video. Alright, so now we're going to approach the front gate. Is anybody going to open it for us? We shall see. Hello? Anybody at the gate? Let's read this, shall we? Ah, right. Huh? The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Great. You know what? We're going to try and open the gate. Let's shake it like a madman, or mad woman in this case. Let me in! Alright, we'll try again. Right. Shall we? I think we should try again, shall we? Let me in. Let me in! Okay, it's not going to work. <laughs> Alright, it's not going to work. So we're going to do the original thing. As you can see, it's shining there. We're going to have to climb up. Yes, we're going to have to channel our inner Tomb Raider. Alright, so Samantha Croft. Let's go. Right, we're going to do the quick approach. Let's see, we're going to have to tap a button here. Triangle, there we go. And um, let's see, any choices? Oh, look, we can jump or climb. We're going to pick the jump option, and we're going to have to try and grab the ledger of quick time event. There we go. Fantastic. Great Lara Croft skills, Sam. At least you paid attention to the gym class, and you're very skilled at it. Right. We're going to have to climb down now. I am... Um, of course, um, this runs at 30 f um, frames per second, so... Um, yeah, it's a good thing the Elgato has set it to 30 frames per second. But enough of that. Let's move forward and continue on with our adventure. There's a lot of shiny things to look at, as you can see. Oh. Aww. Tutorial. When you don't move, icon is on the screen. Keep the wireless control as still as possible. <laughs> Aww. I love that squirrel. Right, so yeah, if we moved, um, the squirrel would have run away and got scared because he probably thinks that we were going to attack. Oh, I want to check your traits, okay? So here's Sam's traits. She's honest, charitable, she's not that funny, she's brave, she's not romantic, and she's a little bit curious. Um, her friendships, um, she's really bad friends with Mike and Jess. I wouldn't blame her considering they played a huge part in um, the whole prank. I would have um, lowered her friendship down with Emily too, considering she just played her part too. It was just a prank, Han. No, it wasn't. You mean, I won't go any further. But yes, you guys know what I mean. But if you go to the other side, you get to see clues and whatnot. But because we've just started the game, we don't really have any clues. So yeah, let's keep going, shall we? But yeah, here's the traits. Every character has their own traits, but for now, we've only looked at Sam's. Part of me wishes that I looked at Beth and Hannah's, but it is what it is. Let's keep proceeding forward. So, um, yeah. Um, every character has their own traits. We will judge them. And so far, I only really like Sam. Um, Josh, I can't really judge because he was drunk and passed out. And Chris, we've not seen yet. Unless he was the second person that was drunk. But let's read these. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Alright, there's more colors. There's a yellow and a white one. Um, so yeah, let's scroll down. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. I hope we run into more white ones. I hope so. But that was an interesting read. Oh look, we got a totem on the ground. As you can explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up totems up and running will reveal a coloured butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. And that looks like a yellow one, so let's pick it up, and we shall look into it by turning it around, just like we did in the previous chapter. Okay, looks like, that looks like Mike. Um, that face looks like Mike. Let's look at it. Yellow Guidance, a vision of guidance as a far future choice. Indigenous tribes, believe that, yeah, we read that already. 
Um, each totem piece forfeits future possible future events. How you play will determine on not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Hmm. This is very interesting. So this is our second totem we've picked up. There's many more to pick up. Um, so that already can, um, that already shows that there's replay value to this game. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choice you make. So this is basically a choice matters game. Yeah, we already pressed L1 to check the totem collection. But we will press it again. It just shows the character traits. You can press L1 for the butterfly effect. But we don't have, we haven't really got a butterfly effect yet. From what I know anyway. So yeah... Um, well, we're checking the totem. So far, we've only collected two. The, um, the first totem we collected was um, them dying. If you press it, you can check which um, them video again, which is nice. But yeah, that's about it, really, um, with the totems. But yeah, if you see, we collected one out of six. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's more. Found near the lower cable. Yeah. Yeah, we did find it there. All right, so let's keep moving forward. And there's a bag there. So um, let's look. I think our next... Chris, yeah, are you here? Um, yeah, as you can see, the bag's shining. So let's see what's going on here. <laughs> oh, Sam, your sarcasm's very funny. It's Chris's bag and a phone. Hmm. We might have a choice here. Likely we will. Yeah, you could close the bag or you could snoop. We could choose the right analog stick to choose. Sam is kind of curious in her traits, so uh, maybe it's best if we try and snoop. I think I'm going to go and pick the snooping option because the phone's lighting and Chris ain't here. So, um, yeah, Sam's a bit curious. So let's snoop. I see the butterfly effect came into play. It's a message from Ashley. Whoa, hello. That was quite... Um, imagine that music. Right, here's Chris. He has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective and humorous. Well, we shall see whether he's humorous or not. We don't know anything yet because he was passed out on the cou um, on the chairs with Josh. I think it was him and Josh that were drunk. Um, so yeah, we didn't get much to hear from Chris. Sorry, are, are you my secretary? What's buzzing? Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something. Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. You blow your mind. Right, so yeah. As you can see, there's a bit of horror cliches there. That was basically a little jump scare. I wasn't scared. I just went, ooh, because the music just went, doom, you know. Alright, so here's a um, clue. Wanted Milgram Victor, male, six foot two, last known address, Blackwood Pines, last seen on the 3rd, the March the 16th, 1998. What is the connection of a first degree arson offence as well as various death threats? Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contract the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary Police Monte Provincial de Blackwood, July 1998. Well, that was a bit of a big read. I'm surprised I pronounced all those words. And I do apologise for the Elgato being a bit flicky. That's not really my fault. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, um, looks like our curiosity did go up just a tiny bit, actually. Um, the, let's see what we're looking at. There, there's a clue. There's a clue screen there. That's what I was looking at. And we got the wanted poster. There's many clues around for each chapter. All right, so let's keep going. And um, Alright, so it seems we're going to be shooting things with Chris, which is okay. It seems we're not being Sam anymore. So we're going to and look stick around and shoot things. So we're going to shoot this. We're timed slowly, of course, but we can take as much time as we want. Now let's shoot the next target, which is this. I think that's a can. Yes, it is. And we're going to shoot the next thing on the floor, which is a can. Or should we wait? 
You know what? Let's see what happens if time runs out. I want to make time run out and see if, um, what happens. Maybe we will fail the challenge and um, we don't have to do the shooting range thing. Or Sam may have a snarky comment for us waiting. I'm going to pick the latter because we're showing off to Sam. So let's see. Oh, you, she's going to have a little snarky comment taunting us to an extent. <laughs> right, let's shoot this. There we go. And now we're going to shoot the bag. Bang. Hey. All right, what's next for us? I love her accent. That was pretty cute, actually. Nice shooting takes. Okay, we're going to shoot this one over here, which is a bottle. Hey, look, it's the squirrel that Sam fed. Wait, he's giving us a choice to shoot between the squirrel and the bag. You know what? I'm shooting the bag. I'm not shooting no animal. That's cruel. I think if you do shoot... Um, I'm guessing if you if I did shoot the squirrel, Sam would be extremely cross and tell us off for shooting an innocent animal. I think that butterfly effect probably is from the squirrel. I ain't shooting no squirrel. That's too evil. I'm not doing that. Maybe in my uh, next playthrough when I play this game, because it does have replay value, there's multiple choices in this game. Maybe I will do a lot of naughty stuff in this game, just to see what happens. No clues over there. Right, let's see what happens if we keep moving along. Let's move and follow Sam, because we've got to get to the cart. Yeah, the conversation's continuing with these two. At least it's a friendly one compared to when they when they just met about the phone. But yeah, we, we chose to snoop because we were curious. What a nice gentleman, isn't he? He must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He's been going through so much and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know. Yeah. Okay, so let's look into the next thing, which is um the poster here. Hotel and sanatorium for healthy and body and mind. For healthy body and mind, sorry. Right, so now let's check this camera or TV. I think there was something we just saw there, but maybe we just missed it because we were looking at the poster for so damn long. But yeah, something probably walked by the camera. But uh, Should we look at Chris's stats? Uh, we should look at Chris's stats, actually. He's honest, he's charitable, he's funny, he's a bit of a romant, he's a coward, and he's curious. So the negative thing is that he's a coward. He's got good friendship with Ashley and Josh. Jess, Matt... And Emily and Mike is poor, and Sam's one is pretty decent, actually. So he's got a good, strong friendship with Josh and Ashley. Well, obviously, he would with Ashley, because he likes Ashley. But Josh, I guess them two are like brothers, to an extent. But um, with Sam, I guess, well, we're going to build up a good chemistry with Sam, to an extent, where they can be good friends in this journey. I think the traits do change the way you play as well. Yes, we are. Let's enter the car. I don't ever remember in, I don't ever remember entering one of these things to go to a prom, Chris.
and everyone together on the anniversary. Him and Josh seem really pumped about golf. Doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I, I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, right? I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? I love her. I love her tone. You know, she's very light. She's very um kind hearted and whatnot. I do like that. You know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Gene Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. I see what you did there, Chris, with the butterfly effect, considering it's in the game. But yes, um, that was an okay story to tell in how they met. I mean, there is other ways people have met each other in a classroom. Here's Jess, Mike Snuga's girlfriend, confident, trusting, irreverent. And the woman I hate so far, her and Emily, especially after the prank they played that led to Hannah and Beth's deaths. Yep, you gotta blame them for it to an extent, because if they didn't play that prank, both Hannah and Beth would be alive to this day. So, yeah, I don't really like Jess as much. I guess you guys can probably not blame me for making that choice in the matter. Okay, so now we're gonna control Jess. Hmm, okay. Let's see, is there anything for us to investigate here? Like any clues around here? Let's look. I'm going to try and look for as much cl clues as I can so that um, I can try and unlock a bit of things that will lead to this story. But um, I don't know if I will find every clue. I can't guarantee it. Well, obviously, it's my first playthrough, so I'm... What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Alright, let's 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 help them out, shall we? We're taking some time. Let's hold the switch and then let go. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, thanks, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bone. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts in my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. We could insist and make Chris um ask Chris to give us back the book. Or well, we could explain the situation, and um, I believe because she's straightforward, we're going to explain it instead of her keeping it in. Might as well explain it. Why not? I mean, um, Jess is straightforward, so yeah, I think explaining in this situation would um, clarify everything, and um, I think it's more appropriate. I agree, Sam. It's a fantastic view. I'm not going to lie. It is a very nice view. 
the car ends. Oh my god, it's Emily! Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, persuasive, and, well, you know what the fourth character trait for her is. I'm not going to say the word. I would if I was angry enough, but I'm not. I'll let you guys know what I think in my mind. It begins with a B. I'll just leave it at that. But yes, she definitely is one. Oh, here's Matt, Emily's boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious and active. Oh, and Matt, I can't say I like you either, considering you was recording this prank, so I don't like you either, Matt. Yes, I know you're the only black guy I've seen in this game, but still, I don't like you for doing that. It's just my personal opinion, to be honest. I know people are going to probably say, um, oh look, you're being mean to the characters, but come on. Matt was recording the damn thing, so I'm not going to like him. <laughs> That's a good jump scare. Oh god, why am I laughing? It's Mike. Right, it's Mike. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Oh, and he's from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hell Hydra! Oh, and he's, um, he looks like Nathan Drake. But no, I don't like you. I don't like you either, because you played a massive part in Hannah's death. Beth went to chase her sister, so yeah. I don't like you at all, Mike. wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Okay, so we can threaten him, tell him to back off, or we could just say welcome. You know what? We're going to be the nice guy, and we're going to be little ho not hostile about this situation. We're just going to say welcome, Mike. Yeah, we're here, so let's just give him the welcome. Mike. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Oh. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Ha! <laughs> you liar! Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Oh, please, it's not important. You know, we can't persist saying we're not going to leave her alone because we're overprotective, or we could just agree and let her go. You know what? We know what she's up to, but I don't really care at this point in time. I'm just going to say, agree, I'll go. But if I had a choice, I'd be like grabbing her and saying, no, you're coming back to the whole, um the place with me. You don't really love Matt. You're just using him. God, I hate Emily. Can't a monster just eat her as she's making her way to Mike? Because that's where we all know where she's going. Like, we're not stupid. <gasps> Introducing Ashley. She has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Forthright, sorry. So yes, um, very interesting traits from Ashley. And I believe this is the second time we've met her, because I think she played part in the prank. I believe she was there. I don't know where she was in the prank, but um, I know she was hiding. 
Right, let's look around. Um, let's look to the right first. Is there anything interesting to the right? No, but let's look to the left. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. As a matter of fact, yes, there is. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Well, not in the friend zone kind of way. I agree. Might need to check the expiration date on that big breakup. Hmm, interesting. So now let's look this way to the right. Ah! Uh Cheap jump scares. It didn't get me, but I know it would get a lot of people. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hey, wow, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, let me check it out. You know what? We could mislead him and say it's broken, but now we're gonna encourage him. He has to see it. He has to see that Emily isn't what she is. You know. Let's encourage him. Go look at him, Matt. Sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh. Son of a bitch. Seriously? Emily? What the hell, man? Wait, hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Poor Matt. Do I feel sorry for him for picking Emily as a girlfriend? No, I don't. He should have known what she was like. He's an idiot. I'm being so bad to these characters. Alright, so we can check our phone or we can read the book. Um, what I'm going to do at this point, um, I'm probably going to read the book. Let's see what she's going to write or read in this book. What is she reading? Curious. Never mind, it was interrupted. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hand where I can see it. We've got you, Sarah. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender should the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, run to the bench or grab a snowball. You know, we're going to grab a snowball. No, we're playing along because he threw it at us. Time to throw it at you. All right, target locked. Throw. All right, we're gonna throw it at him again. Let's dodge. Oh, look at that cute bird. Unless he's running, let's throw now. Hey, buddy. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Why are they giving us choices to attack the animals? I ain't doing that. That's mean. Right, let's throw our mic now. Boom! You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. That did. We're gonna grab a snowball and hit Mike. He doesn't deserve a kiss. He's a jerk. Ah. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, 
I think we might breathe through that somewhere in between those quotes. Uh, status update. I'm guessing this is um, part one done. 